how to profit from Dow Jones index trading in 2016 like a pro a part one. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, guten morgen, guten tag, guten abend. For those who are new to us, we are the TSTW24 traders, and our website is www.stochastic-macd.com. The title of the video, once again, is How to Profit from Dow Jones Index Trading in 2016 Like a Pro, Part 1. Let's get started. The long-term market pattern for the Dow Jones Index is bullish. So the bullish uh, pink channel represents the long-term market pattern for the Dow Jones Index. All right? The short-term market pattern for Dow Jones is a balanced market or a consolidation. Uh, the price is now oscillating or consolidating between the high of 2015 and the low of 2015. All right? The market pattern will determine okay, the appropriate trading strategy that one should apply. Now, I need to say this again. The market pattern will determine okay, the appropriate trading strategy one must use. The current medium-term market pattern is a consolidation. Therefore, we can only apply okay, a balanced market trading strategy or methods. Professional traders will look for opportunity to buy near the low of 2015. If the price going up, it comes near the media line of 2015, they will take profit and allow the price to go above the, 2000, the media line of 2015. And if that resistance level, the media line, is converted into support, they will buy again and expect the price to go near the high of 2015. Each time the price is going through a channel, professional will also watch the media line of each channel, whether a bigger channel or a smaller channel. As you can see, the bigger channel or the bigger market pattern is a consolidation between the high of 2015. The first level I want to, to note down is the high of 2015, 1.8351, 1.8351. That's the red line here. The media line of 2015, I do not give the exact media line. I always give the nearest number near the media line. The media line for 2015 is somewhere near the level of 1.68.70.1.68.70. And the third key level that professional uh, are watching is the low of 2015. That level is at 15370, 15370, three level. High 18351, media line at 16870, and the low at 15370. This is the current uh, support and resistance level that all the professionals are watching. As you can see in 2016, uh, especially on the 19th, okay, you see here this particular day. The price was going down, you can see, bearish market, bearish market, came near the low of 2015. Find support. Professional that were selling took profit here because it's a consolidation. They are selling near the upper side, taking profit near the low. Remember what I said also. Between each channel, we have the bigger channel, the red and the green lines. We have another channel here, the red and the orange line between the high and the media line. We should not forget the media line of each channel. All right. Now, where are we, my friend? We are somewhere near the media line of, uh, okay, you see this channel? The orange and the green. These two lines, you see here? Show you that, okay? This, level, this, this is the, media, the, the channel we are watching now. This channel, okay? The, the media line is somewhere, I'm just putting it roughly here. That's what I do all the time. So it's near 16141. As you can see, as the price was going now, it, it had 
was going up. You can see there was acknowledgement that the media line of the smaller channel. You see here, touchy, touchy, touchy here. Now it breaks above it. We really test it before rushing up again. All right, it makes sense. So the market pattern will determine, okay, the appropriate trading method that we must apply. We have a consolidation in place. Professional trader will look for opportunity to buy near the low. As the price going up, they are watching here at one key level, next key level, third key level, and fourth key level. It makes sense. It is also powerful. Apart from these three key level, there are other key level that traders and investors must watch throughout 2016. We are talking about the Dow Jones Index that represent uh, okay 30 blue chips, all right, American blue chips, okay. It is also a market indicator for the Dow Jones Index. Uh, it's, it's a market indicator for the market itself, okay. Talking about the S and P 500, the Dow Jones Index is a market indicator for the s p 500 okay so long-term market pattern rising channel medium-term market pattern for the dow jones index consolidation all right so you need to be careful whenever you are today trading a swing trading you must pay attention to the medium term okay market pattern very very important okay very very important all right I don't want to dwell on it. Let's go to the yearly chart. There are other key levels that I want to share with traders. The next key level that traders must not forget throughout 2016, okay, is the media line of 2013. That level is 14887. That's the the turquoise line here. That's the media line of 2013 this is the candlestick bar for 2013 the media line is somewhere near the level 14887 do not forget that level all right very very important the next key level is the high of 2008 what has happened in 2008 we have the financial crisis okay so the high of 2008 is a psychological price level for the market so do not forget the high of 2008, very, very important level. You can forget any other level, but do not forget this level, the, the, the high of 2008, very important level if you are trading E-mini or American stocks, okay, the S&P 500 index or the FTSE 100 because the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones have, okay, will influence the FTSE 100, the CAC 40, the DAX 30. So you don't want to forget the level of the high of 2008 at uh, 13279, 13279. That's the exact high for the year 2008, 13279. Apart from that level, we have another key level below here, which is uh, this gray, dark gray line here. Is uh, That level is the high of uh, 1999. So just before the new millennium all right we have this key level 1999 and then we get into 2000 isn't it yes or no this level here is also a psychological price level it's at 115 okay 68 that's the exact high of 1999 is at 11568 so you must have a notebook all right or on your smartphone you have a page on your notebook, all right, you save this key level that you must watch. So you are trading S&P 500, you are trading E-mini, you are trading major indices. You want to know where is the market, where is the Dow Jones going. The Dow Jones will influence Adam, okay, uh, stock index. So you want to know, okay, this key level. Also, remember that the Dow Jones index, okay is also a market indicator for the s p 500 okay it will influence the s p 500 okay so this level the high of 2000 uh, the high of 1999 11568 so in total we have six uh, key levels that we must not forget throughout 2016 18351 15370 16870 one four eight eight seven one three two seven nine one one five six eight. As a day trader or swing trader, 
one is looking for high probability trading setup on or near those key level those are most influential support and resistance level okay high probability trading setup the trading signal will come from a high probability trading setup so the first thing that we are looking for is a high probability trading setup on or near those key levels once we see the high probability trade setup or we identify or recognize a high probability trading setup on or near one of okay those are key level we will now implement a top-down trading method to trade it as we are using a technical analysis we must not forget the economy news and the fundamental at google finance and yahoo finance if you are trading for us one must not forget okay the forest factory okay so for dow jones index we will check google finance okay pay attention to the market leaders for the dow jones okay boeing caterpillar okay go to www.dayprotrader.com click on market watch to know more about market leaders what are the market leaders for the dow jones index they will influence the dow jones index itself it makes sense so Six key level. Remember that market leaders for Dow Jones will influence Dow Jones index. Economy news at, at uh, Google Finance, Yahoo Finance will influence the Dow Jones index. The Dow Jones index represents has uh, okay, 30 components, 30 blue chips. You want to pay attention to the market leaders among those uh, 30 blue chip stocks. The long term trend for the Dow Jones index. The long-term market pattern for the Dow Jones index is a rising channel, which is the pink line on my chart here, all right? The medium-term market pattern is a consolidation between the high of 2015 and the low of 2015. Therefore, my friend, we will measure the width, all right, the width of, uh, okay, the consolidation session between the low and the high of 2015. Here it is. If the price D below the low of 2015, we will project that the size of our channel, okay, in the direction of the price. Have I moved my line? Okay. All right. So if the price D below the level of uh, the low of uh, 15370, we will project the size of the top channel between the red and the green line, the high and low, we will project it down like this we will also highlight the low of that new channel which is somewhere one two two eight nine one two two eight nine that's the low of our new projected channel and we'll also measure the we uh, the media line of our new channel uh somewhere in the zone of one three nine two seven this will allow us to navigate through the market however if the price goes above the high of 2015, which is very, very bullish, we will also project the side, uh, the channel to the upper side in the direction of the price. This is about market geometry and multi-talented trading. It breaks above, so right now, a consolidation is taking place between the high and the low of 2015. If the price breaks above the high and finds support, start displaying higher lows, higher high, we will project the size of our current consolidation Okay, market pattern to the upper side. If we dig below the low, we project it down, highlighting the, the low of our new projection and also the median line of our new channel. Either way, upside and also to the downside. It makes sense? So right now, the, the appropriate trading method that we must adopt is a consolidation trading method if we are day trading or swing trading. For investment purposes, we will say to an investor that if you have been in this market for a long time, the market has been bullish for a long time. What do I mean by that? The long-term market pattern was bullish, but a medium-term market is in place. All right? It's in place. So, for an investor, an investor may decide to take some profit at this point in time because the, the trend is not as strong as it was before. Why? Because the market pattern has changed from a rising channel to a consolidation. We may have a continuation of this trend, but until that time, it is quite wise at this point in time 
to bank profits, all right, and to wait until the price finds support above, okay, the high of 2015. That's the best approach. One mistake that the fundamental traders are making and long-term investors are making is that they go and check the fundamentals. The fundamental are, will peak when a bearish season is about to begin. What do I mean by that? When you are using fundamental analysis, you check the balance sheet, you will notice that everything looks good. The balance sheet are strong, uh, business are doing well, but because it has peak, it will change direction. So fundamental will peak when a reversal is likely to take place at the end of a bullish trend. All right? So bearish fundamental also will bottom if uh, uh, we are coming to the end of a bearish trend. So usually, fundamental trader will check the balance sheet, we perform Google Acid test, everything will look okay, but they ignore the market pattern because the rising channel, now we have a consolidation. It is wise to pause and wait for the price action to confirm the new trend above the high of 2015. So at this point in time, if you are, okay, long-term investor, you want to buy, definitely buy, wait until the price breaks above the, the high of 2015, run away a bit, and pull back and retest the high of 2015, and convert that high into a value support level. Then one can carefully buy, okay? Carefully buy, okay? Carefully buy, all right? Carefully buy, because there are different scenarios. You may see a trend like this, okay? And then we may see a pause, and then we may see a console, and we may see a continuation. But the market always thinks that there will be a consolidation after a pause, not always. Sometimes we may see a trend, then a pause, and then a capitulation, reversal, okay? Sometimes there's something really very interesting that the breakout traders get caught into trouble here because these are the, there is a consolidation, there is a, a trend, a pause, and then a breakout. But the breakout only will go up to the one. 38.2% Fibonacci extension level of the previous trend only to find a resistance there and come back down. Therefore, it is wise for traders to be careful at this point in time. The appropriate trading method, day trading, swing trading method, is consolidation. Look for opportunity to sell near the high of 2015 and look for opportunity to buy near the low. As the price going up or down, if it's going down from the high, you are watching the media line, and all the key level that I have already given to you, the six key level, these are the level that we are watching. If you are day trading or swing trading, we are looking for high probability trading set out on or near one of those key levels. Then we will apply a top-down trading method. A, a valid trading signal will come from, uh, okay, a high probability trade set out that is formed on or near a valid key support or resistance level. One can identify support and resistance level on the 10-minute frame daily chart, but the most influential key levels are from the yearly chart. That's why recently a trader was asking me to, okay, to do a, a technical analysis for the crude oil, all right? Uh, I think it's a top out, this trader, uh, the name on YouTube. I do not want to do it because I do not have the yearly chart for crude oil. I do not like to analyze financial instrument that I cannot have access to the yearly chart, okay? If I don't have the yearly chart, I will not trade it, I will not pay attention to it, I will not, okay, record a video about it because the yearly chart allow us to see the bigger picture. Very, very important, all right? Trade for us and I trade stocks most of the time, okay? That's what I trade, okay? So this is one point, all right? Next thing, so we talk about the key level, the horizontal key level for the Dow Jones index, all right? These are very important six key level. Apart from those key levels and the market pattern, the long-term and the medium-term market pattern, there's something else. See the pink channel here? If the price is not below that channel, yes or no, okay? It's here, below it, okay? All right? What do we need to do? If the price is out of the channel, what do we need to do? We project the channel, remember? We were projecting the horizontal channel, remember? Between the high and the low of 2015. We can do exactly the same thing for the rising channel and the declining channel. Here we have the pink channel, the price out of the channel. What do we need to do? We need to project that channel equal size in the direction of the price. 
this this is my projected channel you see between the pink line and the blue line here this is my new channel because the price is out of the old channel this is telling me that this trend is becoming weak it's not even inside it remember what i said also that the dow jones index is a market indicator for the s p 500 if you check on the monthly chart of the s p 500 today by the way it's the first of uh, february 2016 the S&P 500 is still in a rising channel on the monthly chart. But look at the Dow Jones. The Dow Jones is already out of the channel. So we need to be careful if you are trading the S&P 500 because the Dow Jones index is a market indicator for the S&P 500. Okay, it doesn't mean go and sell S&P 500, but you need to be aware of it and know that the Dow Jones is already out of the rising channel. So there are a few things that can happen here. So we project our channel like this. So what usually will take place, the market will prefer the price to pull back near the media line of our projected channel and then rally up. Price does not have to do it, but very often you will see that it will do exactly that. that the price will rally from this point. Okay. So first reaction out of the channel, coming near the media line of our projected channel, somewhere here. And then it will try, very often it will try to go back up. To retest okay the edge of the, the channel that was supporting the trend very very important you must go back and retest because this is a very very strong support the body here the body here so you want to check whether you will find a resistance here sometimes the prime may not find a resistance there but you go inside the pink channel which is the original channel and will go all the way up here because a lot of traders will expect the price to find a resistance here but the market would prefer to sell here near the media line of the original channel. So be aware of that. So you may go back inside the channel before finding resistance, or you may find a resistance on the edge here. So what are we looking for? We are looking for trading setup somewhere here on the edge or somewhere near the media line of our first channel. Using a top-down trading method, we can manage the trade carefully here. All right? Either here or here. And also here, these are hot spot trading zones that professionals are watching on the edge of the trend line. So we are talking about trend line, but do not forget also the cease level, that the horizontal support and resistance level. All right? Either way, if a bullish trend will continue, the price you see here is now at a key level near... It's now near the level of... Uh, uh, one six one four one, all right. The dark green line here, all right, is somewhere there now. Okay, that's where we are now. Okay, if I if I switch my time frame, I go to the hourly chart. Hopefully, hopefully we see that's the line. You see one six one four one. Okay, here it is. That's the trend line, the bigger trend line. The price is heading towards that uh, uh, trend line. Okay, all right. This is on the hourly chart. Okay, you see the green line? All right, you see here? Yeah? It's going near uh, the edge of our trend line. Okay, all right. So you can see that the price is forming a kind of uh, a bullish chart pattern near the support level. You see this line? Once it's one for one, has formed a, okay, an inverted head and shoulder chart pattern here near the, this level. But remember what I said to you the market pattern will determine what? The, the appropriate trading strategy that we must adopt, yes or no, all right? So that's why I say to you, on the daily chart, the market pattern is a consolidation between the low and the high. It makes sense? So here, the price has formed a bullish chart pattern near the low of last year on the hourly chart. Okay, it's a trading setup. Near this, some we are here now. This is the media line of our smaller channel, the media line and the low of 2015. This is the media line 161 for one. Okay, you see now. So, this is what's happening now. Okay, the price has formed on the hourly chart an inverted head and shoulder pattern near the media line of the smaller channel. Okay, is it now that is heading towards the next level, which is the media, media line of 2015. Once uh, the media line of 2015, uh, 
the nearest number is uh, 16870. So this is it. As the price going near the media line, there's also the trend line. Okay, the pink trend line here on the edge. All right, you see now? Okay. All right. This allows us to make better trading decisions. Where to buy, where to sell, where to take profit, where to re-enter the trade. Okay, where is the best place? Okay, where the high probability is likely to take place. All right, and so on and so on. You see now? So if you go back again to the monthly chart for the Dow Jones Index, talking about how to profit from Dow Jones Index trading in 2016 like a pro, part one, we are paying attention to the market pattern. If the price violates the market pattern, we project the current market pattern, in the, the size of the current market pattern, in the direction of the price, either horizontal market pattern or rising or declining market pattern. Okay, it makes sense? All right, so these are the level, the hot spot trading zone that the professionals are watching. Either on the edge or near the media line. We are waiting. We are not we are not assuming anything. We just wait. And if we see a trading setup, okay, we use a top down trading method to take it down. As the price going down, we are paying attention to the trend line and the horizontal key and support level. So just knowing those six key level and also uh, the projection of our current channel, all right, the opposite also will be true. If the price goes above it, we will project it on the other side, okay? But right now, it's below it. It's also near the media line of our smaller channel at 16141, which is another key level here that day traders must watch right now. It makes sense? So this is all you need to know if you want to trade. So you are looking for bullish trading setup near okay support level remember that a resistance will be converted into support if the price breaks above that resistance and find a support okay the support will be converted into resistance if the price d below that support level and convert that support level into a resistance level we are not violating the market pattern the current market pattern is consolidation medium term market pattern is consolidation long term market pattern bullish if you look at the MACD on the monthly chart, MACD, the ultimate role of MACD is to identify either, either trending and non trending financial instrument. If there is a deviation between MACD and the central line, a white angle, a big separation between MACD indicator and the zero line or the equilibrium line, we know that the trend is strong. But if the MACD stay above the zero line for a long time, it's now converging towards the center line, we know that we are likely to see a consolidation. That's why now the current market pattern is a consolidation because MACD is telling us clearly on the monthly chart that there is a conversion of MACD towards the center line. A conversion of moving average is indicating to us a balanced market pattern. One must now adopt the appropriate trading or investment strategy at this point in time. As an investor that were buying, okay, that is buying the Dow Jones index before, it's time to take some profit or to secure some gain until the market resumes the trend above the high of 2015. This is not the best period to be loading more. If one is loading here, one needs to be careful. At least secure previous gain, prove your previous profit. If you have made a lot of profit, all right, secure them at this point in time and wait for the market to show, uh, okay, each hand, okay, so to speak, okay, to reveal to us whether we're going to have a bullish trend or a bearish trend. Be ready to buy and be ready to sell. There are some traders who never sell and they always buy. It's not the right way the market. There are bullish season and bearish season and consolidation time. Here we have a consolidation, but the long-term trend is bullish, but the market is pausing at this point in time because, okay, we are at a critical point, okay, in the financial cycle, okay? It makes sense? It is also powerful, all right? So the sixth key level that we must not forget if we want to profit from the Dow Jones in 2016, the first key level is at 18351, Second key level, 15370. Third key level, 16870. Fourth key level, 14887. Okay. And the fifth key level, 13279. And the fifth, uh, key, uh, the sixth key level, 11568. Do not forget the high of 2008. It's a psychological price level. 
at 13279 and also the high of 1999, another psychological price level at 11568. The price now out of the pink channel, the projected channel in the direction of the price. We monitor the media line and we observe the hot spot trading zone where the price is likely to go. If you want to buy, buy near a support level. Want to sell, sell near a resistance level. As a swing trader, use a top down trading method. Look for a high probability trade setup on or near one of those six uh, uh, key support and resistance level or on the edge of the channels, okay, the trend lines, okay. Once you identify a valid or high probability trading setup, go to the signal time frame, wait for the signal, and select a low risk entry point. As you apply the, the technical analysis, do not forget to check the economy news, the fundamental. You are trading in the Dow Jones index. Dow Jones, we have uh, four market leaders. Go to www.dayprotrader.com, click on market watch. Pay attention to the market leaders for the Dow Jones index. The market leaders can influence the Dow Jones index. All right, it makes sense. It is also powerful. So this is the roadmap that we can uh, okay check from time to time if you want to get to the correct place or make profits trading the Dow Jones index throughout 2016. I will be recording another video in February, somewhere mid February 2016, and I will be talking about okay the equilibrium price level that traders must watch if they are trading okay the Dow Jones index. Somewhere in August 2016, I will be recording okay the third part of this video and I will be sharing with traders other key levels that they must watch and what they must pay attention to for the for the rest of the year 2016. This is the end of this video about uh, how to profit from the Dow Jones Index trading in 2016 like a pro part one. Ordinary traders are paying attention to the technical indicators. The technical indicators are giving us warning. Here you can see that MACD has separated from the zero line. It's warning us that a trend is in place. Now we must pay attention to the price. If the trend is in place, the price will be either in a rising channel or a declining channel. As MACD stay above the central line for a long time, now it's returning converging toward the central line. MACD, a technical indicator, is warning us that we are likely to see a balanced market. Now we switch back to the price, which is the number one indicator. On the, on the daily chart, we can see clearly that, yes, MACD, the information that you have provided to us is correct. There's a consolidation taking place. Now, what have I said? The market pattern will determine the appropriate trading method that we must use at this point in time. Sometimes, traders will use, okay, the wrong trading method for a different, for, okay, for a different market pattern, okay? The market pattern will determine what type of trading method we must use at this point in time, all right? So we can make excellent decision and profit from the Dow Jones Index trading in 2016. We wish you the very best in our trading, and until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 traders, talking about how to profit from Dow Jones Index trading in 2016 like a pro, a part one. Speak to you soon.